Welcome back, Solonauts, to another episode of Children of a Dead Earth. Today, we are going to do some more disabling of ships. Uh, I'm just going to try the default spacecraft. We'll see how this goes. I could customize them, but yeah. Okay, um, we're, I guess, in some asteroids. So, hmm. Let's go ahead and focus on the center asteroid. I don't think we need to worry too much about the little bit of orbital speed we have for the moon. The asteroid moon that we're orbiting. Uh, let's see here. One thing we do have to worry about is running into it. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do a direct intercept. Okay. Um, how far? We're still a little ways away. We're not moving that quickly. I'm going to start out in homing on each of these. Now, let's see here. Gunship the... Longest range is probably this. So we're going to target the longest range first. We'll eventually have to dis disable the um, engines. That's okay. Fly by in 14 minutes. Wow, we got a long time. So... Our rail guns will be first. Now that's his scatter. Railgun. I forget how to read this. Is he firing yet? No. Am I firing? Also, no. Um, let's broadside. Let's check and see how we're... How we doing... Corvette's moving a little bit faster. That's okay. Uh, okay, he's hiding behind the planet. Or the asteroid. That's going to be interesting. Okay, so we're firing. He's firing on us. Auto fire, railgun. That's what I'm targeting. Good. Already took one of them out. If I get lucky, I'll take some of the shots out. Maybe while I'm firing at this angle, let me try to take some of this. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was easy. I had lucked out there. I got the engine disabled right away. Okay. Okay. Well, that was fun. So in the middle of recording this, the game crashed and I decided to just start over from the briefing. Um, what we're going to do is a fairly large space battle around an asteroid. So I've decided what I'm going to do. I really like missile ships. Missile engagements just seem to work pretty cool. I'm going to take one laser frigate and its job is going to be to help uh, defend everything and then everything else I'm going to take as many missile 
schooners as I can take. There we go. This should go do good. So the missile, the laser frigate should help to defend against missiles and such. Hopefully. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't have any decoys. Hmm. I might have to customize my own ships, but we'll give this a shot. Okay. So we want to do a super quick intercept. Perfect. It doesn't even take that much fuel. One of the craft must not have enough. Let's see if we can improve this just a smidgen. I wonder which ship doesn't have the fuel. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Now. We're on the right trajectory. So let's go ahead and inspect our fleet. And... Fire all the missiles. All at once. We're going to do one ginormous wave. Okay. Trajectory. Flyby. Sure, why not? Incoming transmission. Okay, so these are just drones. So we're going to nose on. There is a nose on option, isn't there? Nose forward, there we go. I knew there had to be something. Nose forward will allow us to hopefully take the least damage. Although there's no question about it. We're going to take a beating. All right. Well, that worked well enough. Yeah, that was okay. That was a okay. Now, I so confusing right now. I want the... Okay, so there's... Capital Fleet and missiles we don't really want to. Um, I'm going to actually split this off into two separate fleets. Wow, this is a lot of missiles. Oh, I love the pattern. Okay, so the flak missiles... We're going to have them
We'll have them on two separate turns. Now I'm just gonna make sure because they have been known to do some accelerating. Fly by there. All right. So we're gonna carries next to useless right now. We're gonna take out this guy. And we'll take out the cutter. Which this is the flak, yeah. This will be good. This should be really nice. So many missiles, the game is lagging. I don't think anybody really expected you to do 300 missiles all at once. But why not? Oh wow, this is really lagging. Huh. Well, I think they're firing all of their decoys. Okay. What am I going to do? Um, Okay, we got an intercept there. Can I split this fleet? No. Yeah, that's okay. Now, where are my missiles? My uh, Those are the nuclear missiles. Did I lose all of my flak missiles just now? Ay, 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 that's annoying. Well, we'll try this again. This is running a little bit smoother. Well, huh, three very severely damaged ships, but not destroyed. In fact, the cutter's hardly destroyed. This thing, this thing looks intact, though it's got a lot of heat. Okay, let's, we need to intercept the capital fleet. Fleet split, interesting. Cable broadside. Okay. 
Let's see if this works. Okay, what weapon is it that's firing? It's the railgun. So, where's the railgun? There we go. And I think we're getting pretty close to victory here. Yeah, this guy's toast. Let's just blow up the... the engines are all disabled. Um, I don't know. All enemies are no longer a threat. Good. So all we have to do now is intercept the last cutter that split off from the rest of the fleet. In theory, this should be fairly straightforward. Whoa. Well, that seems to have done the trick. What do we have left? A drone fleet and a missile fleet. Um, I guess all we have to really do is survive at this point in time. Because both of them will end up eventually okay. So, huh. I don't really want to intercept the drone fleet. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, darn. The nuclear missiles... Uh, um, <sighs> broadside's the best bet I got. We'll just have to try to destroy as many of these as we can. Do we have decoys? Nope. That was a mistake. Is there a flea? Let's try the scatter. The missiles are now moving away. Good. Let's just keep playing. Drone fleets run out. Wait, they still have... No, okay.
Missile Fleet and Missile Fleet. We'll just try scattering again here. Oh no. Oh, this is kind of nice. They're still approaching us pretty quickly and we're not really escaping that quick. But we are trying to get some of them at least. Nukes are really only dangerous if they're really close, so... They're getting there, though. And we're not picking them off that. They're disabled. Good. Okay. Let's just keep going, I guess. Huh. Do I really have to defeat these nukes? Actually, rather than do that... Let's just take our tangential velocity down to every now and then. Okay. I guess it really does want me to... It's a pity I have to do this. But... So be it. We'll try just to fly by. Try your standard scatter orders. Fly by in nine hours. Wow. Yeah. Um, if I do an intercept, it should be a low closing speed, which will be good. Yeah, I'll just orient broadside and we'll try this out. So we are able to fire some lasers. Uh, let's home in a little bit. Uh, 
That was a close approach. What I want to try to do is to aim in, yeah, my lasers are firing at them, but they can't really hurt me. They're moving away now. I'm going to go and just scatter. Hopefully that will be good enough. I'm not able to destroy any of these missiles, unfortunately. Huh. Yeah, nukes are hard to kill. This is one of the problems with the trying to shoot lasers to kill nuclear weapons on Earth today. And they've had a lot of issues really doing it. The only way they found that it works really well is if they're still on the launch rocket that has a lot of fuel that case the fuel gets hot then you'll tend to ignite it which of course is not uh, particularly great for them I have no idea what this chart is trying to tell me I don't know what's going on now. Seems like it's doing something funny. Ah, no, we're clearly out of range. Those silly missiles are still not out of fuel. Huh. We'll do another intercept, fine. This time I'm... I don't want to do too much of a homing, but... We'll do... It looks like we just have to destroy these missiles. There is no other way. Okay, we're going plenty fast now. These missiles are out of fuel, probably. Uh, 
Now we're starting to get somewhere. Projectiles do work pretty effectively to destroy nukes. One last nuke. There we go. Okay. That did the trick. Whew. Well, thank you much for joining me. And uh, let me know whatever questions, comments you guys have. And until next time, keep on track and take care.